I'm out again. Day three, here we go. Today we're going to examine nonfiction and we're going to develop vocabulary. And towards our examination of nonfiction is this do now. You're going to make about a half page, about a half page web. And in the center of this web, I want you to write the following phrase. The brain is a muscle. I'll say it again. The brain is a muscle. And what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to web for two to three minutes all the ways you work out this muscle throughout a school week. How's it done in math versus phys ed versus music versus social studies versus science? You work the brain out in a different way in almost all in all those classes. So in what ways is your brain getting worked out differently? What are you making your brain do? Okay, that's what this do now is all about. Get to it. Now, the text preview is what we're doing next, so please write this sentence based on the clues I predict this nonfiction will discuss, and that'll probably be, be, be written below. Now, I'm going to show you a series of images, and what I want you to do is look at them, okay? And after you look at all these images, I want you to make a prediction, a specific prediction. Don't just say, I think it'll be about the brain, period. Not good enough. Don't you ever accept that from yourself. You're better than that. I want you to give me a specific prediction based off of all the pictures that you're about to see. And then finish that sentence based on the clues I predict this nonfiction will discuss. Go get them. Now on page 67, in the lower right hand corner it says vocabulary development. You'll see the word inevitable, which means unavoidable, crucial, which means highly important, provocative, which means stirring up thoughts or feelings, irrevocably, an adverb that describes in a way that cannot be undone or changed, or cognitive, meaning having to do with the process of knowing and being able to remember. You might recall I said that trying to multitask is a cognitive impossibility and that it is impossible for your brain to do it. Okay? So I want you to write these words down. The word on the left and the definition on the right. You're not, you're not going to do the links yet. You're not going to do the links until after you're done reading. Okay? Okay, all right, so here's the links. You're just setting it up so that when you're done reading and you're done the questions, you can go back and take care of the links. That'll be the last thing you do. Okay, go get them. Here's what you're going to do in the book. You're going to read page 68, all right, step one. Step two, you're going to do the multiple choice questions one through five. They're all in like a block together. Now there are several constructed response questions. I only want you to do three of them. 
I only want you to do three. That means responding in complete sentences and applying the capital three strategy should it apply, especially if they ask you to go back in the text. Guess what? It applies. All right? So I want you to do questions one, three, and six. Okay? So one through five, multiple choice, one, three, and six, constructive response, and that's on page 268. Go get them. Now that you completely finished all those other things, I want you to finish out the day by working on the links, getting them done, and then reading independently. I appreciate your help this week, and way to be.